Hi folks, it's me. Welcome back to my channel. Right, this is something I've been quite excited about trying. Um, and it's doing things with resin. Uh, I've mixed my resin up because you have to be stirring it for quite a long time. And I have been doing and it looks as if it's all nicely mixed up. Now I've had this resin for a while because I tried something with it about <laughs> two or three years ago. And I'm not sure if it's going to work because... If you can see this, it's gone, this is the hardener one, I think, and it's gone yellow. And that's the other one, which is clear, as you can see. And it's supposed to be ultra clear, according to the label. <clears throat> it's on a two to one ratio, so um, it's two parts of the big one, I'm assuming, because there's no instructions came with it, and I'm just having to... Uh, I'm winging it, <laughs> in other words, I'm just making sure that all my moulds are dust free and what have you. I've checked the level of my table with the mould and it's all level. Um, now there are different things that you can add to the resin. This is for anybody that's never done it and I'm a novice. This is going to be my first time actually doing this kind of thing with it. And I failed miserably with the other way, what I was doing before. So hopefully this might be a better a better um, result than what I've had in the past. So uh, there are fabulous um, videos out there. And I'll link a couple uh, in the description under this video because they're lovely ladies. They're from UK, the ones that I've been taking most note from. And... Uh, Yes, so I'm really looking forward to it. So, right, now I've got my resin mixed. I've got a few uh, a few moulds laying around here. Uh, some are like pen ones, which I've actually put, instead of putting the, you know, the ink, the long ink thing that you get in a biro, I've put um, the ends of these diamond painting ones in. So we'll see, we'll see how, how we go with that one. So I've got three different moulds for that. I've got a dragon here, which I was thrilled to see. I've got these hearts. I've got um, two sizes of seahorse. And I expect, I did actually expect this one being a little bit bigger, but whatever. And then I've got this little tiny teddy bear. I've got a sea urchin which would make a lovely fridge magnet. Um, don't know how heavy it will be when it's finished. And then I've got this owl on a branch as well. Plus, I've got a mini, a dinky um, pyramid. Now then, the pyramid idea was one I actually thought was a good idea from one lady who said, and I think it was the first lady I watched, and she's in Australia actually, but if you've got any little bits of residue resin left over from all your other things, rather than waste it and throw it away, she pours what's left into a, a pyramid mould and then leaves it. And then when next time she does some resin pouring, she puts a little bit more in when she's got bits left over of different colours. And the result is amazing. <laughs> so anyway... Let's get down to it. I've mixed my resin, as I said. I've not put any colours in yet. Uh, the one thing you can mix in with the resin, apparently, is anything acrylic. Now, this is liquid acrylic, and I think it's a fabulous colour. What's it called? Uh, I don't know what this... Do they give them names? Let me see. Um, no. No. No, I can't see a name for it, which is a shame, really. It's a beautiful colour anyway. I've got that one in liquid acrylic, and I've also got this this one. They're both pearlescent, and I've given them all a good shape because pearlescent, obviously, it, uh, you know, sinks to the bottom. I've got some glitters that I can put in, and I've got some uh, acrylic paints, different acrylic paints. Uh, so... Without further ado, let's get some colours mixed up and see what mess I can make of this. <laughs> so here we go. There's my resin already mixed up. And I'm just going to put a little bit in each 
in each cup just so that I can try different colours. I don't want too many of each colour because I've not got that many moulds yet. I have somewhere got um, a sea horse, uh, sorry not a sea horse, a shell mould and can I echo that find it? <laughs> and I know I got it because I got it at the same time as I got the owl and the teddy bear so I don't know why I can't find it. And then I'm keeping some of the clear back just in case I need to add any extras to uh, let me just catch that dribble. What am I doing on my table me? What's it? I ought to have had some kitchen roll down actually. I'll do that now. <coughs> just so that I don't want it all over my desk, my glass top. So right, let's see what we can do. So we'll get this, we'll go with these first. I'm right excited, I really am. And it's a squeaky thing, so the thing you've got to remember, if you're adding something like this, it can only be 10% of the resin that you're using. So you've got to be very careful that you don't add too much, otherwise it won't. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, let's mix that one up. <coughs> you need a clean stick for each one. So here we go, mixing this. It's a lovely colour. It's going to be dark enough. But it is a pearlescent, this one, so it's not going to be really translucent. Wow, look at that. It is sort of translucent, but I don't want them solid colours too much. Not for these ones, anyway. So I'm, I'm going to say that's probably enough for that one. You see, so that's that one, and then I've got this pearlescent one, which is the uh, white or uh, it's white or silver, a oh, white pearl. We just tell you names on them. Just seeing that now, what did that say? Oh, that's waterfall green, apparently. So here we go again one, two, three, four. Uh, oops, got an extra one in there. <laughs> Doing a bit more in the white because the white um, <coughs> needs to be a little bit, you know, we're having very little colour to it. So, yes, I'm looking forward to seeing what these come out like. If I don't like the look of them before I pour, I won't pour, I'll put some different colour in. That's a little bit not very good, really, the white one. Because I think it's because this uh, one of the bottles has gone a yellowy colour. I don't even know if this will set because, like I say, I've had this, I've had this uh, resin for several years. Right, I've got a little bit of. I'm going to put a little bit of this gold in one. You can't have resin without. You can't do resin without doing gold. Oh. <coughs> Let me get a stick and then oh, push it out. What's the daisy? And there. Uh, why don't you make a mess, Anne? Oh, all right. <laughs> Let's see what happens with that one. They do, uh, <coughs> they do some lovely stuff with this, though. You know, and when you pick your colours, golds and things. Actually, I think. The best, easiest one to get colours from is uh, pigment, uh, mica powder, <coughs> that kind of thing. I have got some pigment powders coming, but I'm just too impatient. I wanted to have a go, so. <laughs> and I've got just about enough resin to mix another batch up when I get me other stuff. And by that time, me, um, hopefully, me, what's it, will be free. Well, that hasn't done very well at all, that gold. That's rubbish. Absolutely rubbish. I'm disappointed with that. Let me try again. Put some more in. I can't put too much in because, uh, like I say, it's you've got to be careful in that amount you're adding to. I don't think this gold's going to work for now. And it is acrylic, so we're supposed to be able to add acrylic. But it's not doing very well. 
another thing that you can add as well, which I do have, are uh, gold uh, metallic flakes. You know, you've got your silver um, silver flakes and uh, I've got silver gold, rose gold, bronze, anything like that. I love like yeah, you see, that's that's just staying bitty. You see it? How bitty that is. It's not mixing in at all. So I might have to do something else. Rather than waste it, just put something else in it with it. All right. <clears throat> so I'll leave that one alone. Right, we'll try with this. This is a purple one. This is a little bit more fluid, so it might work better. I've got another stick out. I have. So we'll try this one next. Oh, can we get that off? Yeah, I don't want that in. Don't. Let's see what happens now. We'll see. This could be a bit of a disappointment if these don't mix. It's not looking good. Oh, I don't know. Oh, no, that's, that's not too bad. You might need a little bit more in, but it's certainly, you can see, it's certainly better than the gold one. I have got more gold somewhere, a different one, but I don't know whether it's going to be any gold. See, these have had these yonks as well, but that's mixed in quite well. It really has. I wanted a pink one. And I don't know where my pink is. Just off hand. I've got some pink in the same same brand as this purple. I'm going to put a little, just a tad more purple in that one. I'm liking that purple one. <clears throat> it doesn't really matter if it's not a solid colour because I'm not bothered. I just I just like how they mix together. You know, they blend into each other, and wow, it's just fun. it's fascinating watching them all doing these things. <laughs> and I thought I've got some resin. I'll get a few moulds and I'll have a go. <laughs> so. Yeah, I've got a few ideas for these. Um, I think I'm going to make some into jewellery and also some into. Uh, just bear with me, I've just spotted I've dribbled on my mould. I'll get that out, that's fine. And that's green, what's that doing in there? That's fell off my bottle, I think. Right. <coughs> So, how are we doing with purple? Okay, and then of course you can use clear as well. Um, yeah, I'm liking that. That's quite a nice colour. As I say, it is pearlescent, so it's not really a solid colour. And then I actually have got a big book there and I've put some daisies in it. Let me see what we've got in the air. Uh, oh, I've got metallic blue. And that might work if it's not... Hang on, is it dried up? Don't feel very good, that. Um, oh, that's a pretty blue. Oh, and it's a pearl as well. Oh no, that's moving. Use that one and uh, blush pink. Yeah, and that's that feels okay. So, and I've just got two. Oh no, I've just got one actually. That's <clears throat> I've put that to weight it down. Right. So, yeah, I wish this, oh, I wish this gold had worked. I'm really disappointed about that. But I, as I say, I've got mica powders coming. I'm, I'm sure I've got some somewhere as well, but 
I just don't know. I'm going to use pink in this one. Oh, I need some more sticks. So you need to wear gloves at all times when you're using resin. Um, and really, to be to be really safe, especially if you're like me and you've got respiratory problems, you should wear a mask and a proper respiratory mask, not just a, one that you wear to go shopping in. You know what I mean? So, um, and I, but I haven't got one. I was going to buy one, but I thought, well. It's a, a bit of a pricey item, <laughs> and if it don't work, if I'm not having any success this first time, then I probably won't need one again. <laughs> so I'm not buying one until I know that I'm going to enjoy doing all this stuff. Right, let's get all the dry stuff off, I think. Right, here we go, pink. Oop. Five drops in there. Reason I'm going on five drops, it's watching all the other people that's done it. Oh yeah, that's gone pink. Oh, that's a pretty pink. I don't want them to be too solid. There's whoops. There's my pink look. It's a blush pink, so it's not a bright pink. But it'd be nice. Pretty sure about that. Just giving it a good mix in, like so. So, are you bored to tears yet? Sorry. I'm just going to put you on pause for a minute because I haven't, what I haven't done is I've not got my little uh, blowtorch thing done, put together. So, I'll see you in a minute. Okay. <clears throat> All right, I've done that. I've got my pink. I've got my little... Uh, blowtorch thing it's just for bubbles just for the sake of bubbles that but you you have to be careful using them around your mold obviously because you don't want to uh, destroy your mold with the flame and apparently they can it, they can damage uh, but yeah everybody use them also you can also use your heat tool that you would normally dry stuff with you know so right so we've got this pink so I'm going to pour some pink into uh, into this one, I can see. I'm not putting too much in each one because I want to add another colour as well. Oh, oh well, blue bit, get out. Not to that one. <clears throat> And then I'm going to just pop some purple in the middle. Wow. There we go. Whoops. Ah. Naughty. <laughs> wow. Oh, look at that pearl. Wow. So now we get this. All it does is it just, it just does your bubbles. Yeah. So, liking them. Now before I use me, all my green up for me, pens and things, I'm just moving that to one side a minute because it's really in my way. I want to do my dragon, but I need it on a solid surface like so <laughs> so put them in there all these little ones that uh, they need to be on solid solid thingies so i put those in there like that and then i'm going to put my pen ones in as well because they also need to be uh, on a on a solid surface okay she says we're ready i think so is this green enough no, I'm going to put a little, just, I'm going to put some more of this in because I know I've not gone over the uh, allowed limit as it were. Uh, okay, mix that in. Ooh, I can feel this getting warm already. 
which means it's starting to cure so I have to be quick now blimey that's not took long to get warm so dragon Oh. Don't worry about these little bits that's come out of the edge as well because you can actually get those off later. But I just need to make sure I've got all that. Uh, that's lovely. And when we take these out, when they've solid, uh, solidified, oh, listen to me with big words, um, then we can dome them on the back. When they're fully cured, they can be domed on the back and they look amazing, absolutely amazing. And then you can use them obviously for whatever purpose that you would like. So I'm going to put a little bit in my seahorses because this is a good colour for seahorses too. I want to pull that up a little bit because I want to work it into there and into there. Okay. And then he's got his fin at the back and then his tail. Let's do this with this. I know it looks as if I'm doing it a bit rough shot, but you, you know when you see the other ladies doing it, it's like, and you can once once they're done, you can actually you can actually sand them down and get. I've got an air pocket in that one. I can see I have, and I don't really want an air pocket in. <laughs> that's got it right we'll do the other one but I'm going to do it like this this one because it's so tiny all right that's those so let's have the uh, we'll do some pens put some colors in these pens oops that's flipped over on its side well it's not going to keep doing that this one, and first one I'm doing, can you see what I'm doing? Just a minute. I, I, I don't want to be out of shot for you because uh, <laughs> pointless otherwise, isn't it? Let me just try and... There we go. Oh, it is getting warm, this. So I'm going to start pouring into my pen. I'm not filling them up because I want to put another colour in with them so I don't think I'm being skimpy. That's those two. And what about a purple? Put some purple in. Oh yes, it's definitely starting to cure fast. This could be because it's uh, old resin. And this today is only really uh, to be right, it's just an experiment that I'm trying out. I wanted to have a go, so you know that's I just wanted a play day. <laughs> so that's what I'm having a play day. <laughs> And that this doesn't look like a pink at all, does it? I think it's this, uh, I think it's the resin that's at fault for that, to be honest. I 
pull that across there. Um, and this is the white one. Whoa, this is red art, me. Really going to have to get a wiggle on for these. Really, really hot. Like I said, don't worry about any that spills over because you sand them down and everything afterwards anyway. So, and that is what I didn't want. Okay. Alcohol actually will clean up as well any spills, you know, like I've just got on there. Al alcohol will get it off. So, right, so what we got left, we've got Teddy to do. I'll have to do him in this pinky colour, I think. We'll do Teddy in the pink. Need his little ears in. That's it, that spilled his whoops. <laughs> that spilled his ears in and emptied it out again. Banana. Well, that were a messy job. I've done it again. Yeesh. Get it all over the place. I'll try and take a bit of that off if I can. Because it's going to spoil it. It will uh, sand down. It's just a bit longer work if you've got to do a lot of sanding. But I did say warts and all, didn't I, really? Um, I, I'm not professional by any means, so... Um, right, so put some of this pink in here then, although we have used it in here, but I'm going to put some green in with them this time. We've got the pink, and then... some green. And um, here's a white. Where's my little urchin? Let's have my little urchin over here. I'm going to put the rest of that green in with the urchin. Just scrape that out now. You can just about barely see what I'm doing. I'm sorry, I'm, uh, I've not got a very big area really to be doing this in. I mean, this is where I normally do all my albums and stuff, so it's uh, it takes up a bit of room when you've got a few cups on the go. Right, that's that one, mate. And to finish that one off, I will... Where's my present? We'll mix. Oh, she's got some purple, so we'll mix some purple. Right, well, I'll, I'll use this, put some more purple in it. There we go. Put that over there. Purple. Make it a bit darker. Right. There we go. Put some more purple in there. Whoa, and it's really, really hot now. So I'm going to have to really get busy. So green and purple for the urchin and I'm going to put
put some more purple in there. It's a bit darker purple that one, isn't it? So, whoops! <laughs> Did I mention that I'm not got a steady hand, and you really could do with a steady hand for this? I will use this purple again, being as it's a little bit darker. Using it on the hearts. But it is important that you make sure that you've got a nice clean um, moulds. Make sure your moulds are nice and clean. And then they need to stand and cure. Alright, that's, that's that. So, have I filled... Oh no, we've missed owl. We don't want a purple owl, do we? Really? Not really. Uh, can I get that on there anywhere? Maybe. Mm. Um, twizzle that one round a bit. And we've got it on. Right. I will. Last job. I'm not going to use. Not going to use purple for an owl. Um. Where is this? Pinky colour, pinky colour. Where is he? Need him over here a bit. So you can see. Oh, wait a minute. I am so short of space. It's unbelievable. <laughs> I'm just going to move that back a little bit. That's better. Can you see what I'm doing? I'm just going to use this on the owl. This is the. Uh, one that's supposed to be pink but it's nothing like pink <laughs> it ain't nothing like pink <laughs> right let's see how we can just manipulate now you can use anything you like you can use a cocktail stick your mixer sticks Another another good idea uh, for this I've seen ladies using uh, the wooden bamboo skewers for actually you know manipulating the um, the resin when it's in its mold just to get it into all the nooks and crannies it does help so I'm leaving that at that and then what's left can go in here now. Um, I've got quite a bit of purple, so I'll put this white. It's not white, it's pink, right in at the bottom, which will be, I have to tell you, the top. <laughs> That's the thing you've got to remember about doing um, pyramids is that you are doing it upside down. <laughs> it's obvious, really, but I mean... Uh, I don't know, some, because I'm sat watching people doing these things and I'm thinking, oh, it's not going to be it, it's at bottom. <laughs> and then realise it's going to be turned over. That's just me being thick, like the usual I am. <laughs> so, right, then I've got a lot of uh, a lot of this purple, but I'm putting it in, all in. On top of that white or pink as it's supposed to be oh this is really thickening up now you can see it's going stringy on my cup when it starts getting hot that means it's curing fast so you have to be very quick and also get rid of your bubbles if you can It doesn't take much to get rid of them though, fortunately. So there's my purple. You can get special cups as well for mixing in uh, on Amazon. And as I'm doing it, I'm throwing them away now because 
just giving me a little bit more room. Not any green worth, no green worth bothering with there. This is the white one. Look at this. That is curing. And that could literally be just because the uh, it's old stuff. And the gold has done, and that's not curing, that's just done nothing at all, that gold. And I'm really, really gutted about that. But I wonder if, I know what I could do though. I just have an idea. I know what I might do. Flakes, let's put some bits of flakes in it. This is the autumn one, I believe. I'm, I'm trying to get mostly the gold, but there is green. And again, this is something else you don't need a lot of. Um, right. Just getting that back on again. Mix, mix it all up and break it all up inside there you see how it's all broken up now in there and then we're going to just put that on top of there like that I have no idea what these are going to look like when they're done but in honesty, I can't wait. <laughs> I really can't wait to see what they're like. I could have told you that. No, no idea. <laughs> Can you hear him? <laughs> he thinks I'm Luna. He's probably right, but... <laughs> don't, they don't do any good to tell everybody, does it? Oh, it's, it's looking good, I put that away. What's that one? That one's no good anyway. It's just gone, it's just gone like a lump. So, yeah. That's something that you obviously need to take into account. Now, this particular resin that I'm using, I did say uh, previous that it's, it's old. I've had it a long time. Um, in fact, Harry's had a rat job getting a uh, bottle top off one of them. So, um, I'm not expecting anything amazing from them. Having said that, I'm hoping that it's going to have some kind of a, you know, um, I don't know, a nice effect. And I'm keeping my fingers crossed that everything goes well. Uh, that's not quite full, the pyramid. But I will put more in as and when I won't you know it'll set it's fine it can set it, it's no problem it's setting and then if I've got any more left on a, on a, a moving forward with another pour I'll just top it up now I have seen there's some beautiful uh, large um, pyramid forms and they actually come with a, a, a square box and you put the you put the pyramid inside the box uh, so it keeps its shape and everything because it's so big but oh you should see some of the stuff that people have done in them they really are very very uh, talented people to th even just to think things like you know like they've done it is it's amazing I've got a bit of them in to get that off oh, I'm doing with that I know that and I've still got all this in the uh, jugs that I've not used. So, um, but you can virtually use anything uh, to form it on. Um, if I got some a nice big piece of plastic, I would have used it to. Um... Oh, look at that! That as that is set already. <laughs> 
but I could have used that to pour out if I'd have done it sooner. But there we are. I used um, a little, little, little. Let me see what marks I'm, I did in that now. Uh, fluid ounces. I did um, 10 of this one and 5 of that one because they came together and I'm, I'm tipping that the actual ratio of 2 to 1 is 2 of the bigger bottle and 1 of the smaller bottle so like I said there was no instructions I was really a bit miffed with the way it arrived like that but I gave it a go anyway and um, well the rest is history really that it didn't work I did it wrong I don't think I mixed it wrong I just didn't think what I was doing um, I was actually uh, doing rocks, resin, putting resin on, on rocks that I'd painted and of course I didn't realise it was going to all run down the sides and then I'd have some big lumps on the back but I have since found out that you can actually now I know in hindsight and I still can do it uh, is sand the lumps off and then just re-resin the back or the whole thing even you know to later date so that's possibly a road I will go down but I need to get all this lot cleaned up so uh, I hope you've enjoyed this it's been a bit long-winded I know but as I said I'm a beginner you know I mean but it's just so much fun and you've got to have a go at these things you don't know if you've not tried do you so that's um that's it for me for anybody that's stuck it this long, thank you. <laughs> Any new subscribers, welcome. And old subscribers, thanks for sticking with me. Um, there will be more of these uh, videos, I hope, in the very near future. But I will show you what I'm going to do with these once they've set. So I will be back on. But I'm not going to pause it and then come back on because it's going to be hours if not probably even tomorrow so uh, we'll leave it at that for now and i'll see you all again very soon bye for now oh by the way if you don't mind give me a thumbs up <laughs> and subscribe if you're not already bye now